What are the core skills of a data scientist? So, you know, we see uh, kind of the broad spectrum of data sets, uh, you know, kind of what's out there. So we get requests from data scientists for various kind of data sets. What I've noticed is that, I think this is the best working definition of a data scientist, is somebody who cares about the structure of the data set more than its content. Basically, a data scientist, somebody has a toolkit where as soon as you say, here is a network graph, or here is uh, you know, the kind of graph that's amenable to uh, collaborative filtering, or just here's a really big freaking data set you have to process, mm -hmm. uh, that they have a toolkit that says, you know what, I don't actually care whether these are this time series is log files or geological events or the right. stock market, their toolkit can just beat on it and insight falls out. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you have to lift that back to the knowledge domain and put it in the hands of an expert. Sure. But data science is the toolkit to do that you know, without needing to really reference the knowledge domain except in a, you know, kind of improving mm -hmm. what you're doing. Is there a formal path toward becoming a data scientist? So, um, so actually what my talk here was about uh, was how to do data science on a shoestring. Mm -hmm. So data scientists are in so much demand right now that you simply cannot afford if you're a startup to bring somebody on except, you know, either at founder equity mm. or by growing your own. So what we actually did was end up hiring people who weren't programmers yet, like, but who were, you know, find extraordinary people and teach them how to program. Okay. Uh, so what we do is we really emphasize, and I mean this is true, veterans or not, uh, high level language. So we wrote Wukong, which is lets you write Ruby jobs that run on Hadoop and just use Hadoop as a black box. So you can do terabyte scale data programming in programs that are like this big uh -huh. and are just transparent. So we're big fans of Pig, big fans of Ruby. My advice to somebody who is getting into this, just grab data sets and uh, off of InfoChimps or, or, or from, you know, uh, you know, kind of uh, question you're trying to look into and mm -hmm. start beating on it. You know when you've gotten to the right place in analyzing something, so there should be questions, you, things you knew were true about the data going in, and you should verify that those are there. There should be things you kind of strongly suspected mm -hmm. that now you're able to prove or disprove. And there should be things that you never expect, never even thought huh. to ask, never knew to look for that pop out, right? right? And, if, and, and really just take a problem you're really interested in. Mm -hmm. Don't think about the tool set. Don't worry about like, you know, which machine learning or whatever. Just find out what things you need to do progressively to get that insight out of it and if you've reached that point you'll know it and then it's just a visualization problem. Sure, sure. So uh, shifting gears a little bit, what do you see happening with data as a service over the next couple of years? Um, well so one thing I'm looking forward to is kind of the data store ecosystem shaking out. Uh, we strangely, we have about actually a dozen different data stores that we use you know kind of backing various mm -hmm. services. A lot of that is just because deployment you know with DevOps and things like Chef has become Free. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, as the things start to uh, become less specialized and able to handle, you know, kind of data at scale more generally, I hope that kind of, you know, NoSQL databases go down from being a few dozen mm -hmm. to only being a few that are, you know, kind of commoditized. Um, obviously, we're very excited about commoditization of data and the you know birth of data marketplaces, mm -hmm. right? Where uh, people are, you know, you have like uh, ad agencies are hiring quants away from Wall Street firms. Right. You have uh, CBS, ha uh, Time Warner, have Hadoop, you know, you have big data science groups at their thing. You're going to see like all these other industries across the board that are starting to look more like the financial services industry mm -hmm. in the terms of data sophistication, you know, or the amount that data is integrated in what they do. What we're hoping to do is be there with a generic data platform uh, that's able to serve the tools they need, um, you know, so that, you know, all these newly quantitative enterprises, uh, you know, have the tool set, have the uh, ability to 
undergo that revolution sure. without having to build out the specialized, you know, like single purpose connectors mm -hmm. that you have in the mature data industries. Right. Right. Well, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It's been cool.